So here we are. I'm in my OneDrive folder on my computer and it's pretty simple. You need to download some ROMs. Uh, Pokemon, any Game Boy Advance ROM will work. I'm fairly certain NES and Super NES like Mario 3 and Super Mario World will work as well. But log into OneDrive with your Microsoft account that you use on Xbox and just make a new folder um, call it ROMs or Pokemon or whatever I have Ocarina of Time that actually doesn't work but in your OneDrive make a folder call it ROMs call it Pokemon call it Game Boy whatever you want and this is where you will put your ROM files again I'm not going to show you how to get ROM files I'm not allowed to technically um, but once you put them in here they will upload to your OneDrive and you'll see a little check mark right here once it's done um, while it's uploading it'll be like two blue arrows but once it's finished it'll be a green check mark and then you are safe to close out I have two folders for whatever reason but inside my ROMs you can see I have Pokemon Silver Pokemon Snakewood Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue with these uploaded in your OneDrive you're now set and ready to go to your Xbox so we're gonna jump on over to the Xbox now and I will show you where to go from there okay so here we are on the Xbox dashboard we have just put our Pokemon ROMs in our OneDrive and uploaded them and so now I'm logged into my Microsoft account what you're gonna want to do is open up Microsoft Edge so if you don't have it on your home you can just go to my games and apps see all go over to apps and then find Microsoft Edge you're gonna want to open that and then once everything's loaded up you're gonna go over to the top and you're going to type in nestbox.com slash embed it's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to load up especially for when you do it the first time but you'll see it'll load up and you'll put your cursor on the screen double tap A and now you are free to uh, use the analog stick press the A button and you can set up your gamepad it shows you your controls here do not press the squares or lines button on your controller or else it'll mess stuff up so we'll go back and you'll see it says open ROM from OneDrive press A on that go to your ROMs and then here we are you just select the one that you want to play it'll load and it boots it up right on right on the Xbox it has sound and it has full controller support and it works just like playing it on an emulator on PC that's basically it. it's really simple all you need to do is just put your ROMs in your OneDrive and then on Microsoft Edge on the Xbox go to nesbox.com slash embed if you follow this tutorial just like the way I showed you should have absolutely no problems playing Pokemon or any other Game Boy Advance or NES or Super NES games on your Xbox. And that does it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this helped you out at all or you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with another video.